And what's up, you guys? It's your boy, SF Bay Area Sports Talk. Hope you're having an awesome day today. We have Major League Baseball breaking news alert. A trade has gone down as the San Francisco Giants have traded for lefty swingman Anthony Banda in exchange for cash considerations. Now, I think this is going to be a very solid pickup for us. Anthony Banda has experience as a starter and a reliever. And just three years ago, he was a top 100 prospect. He has a career 3.90 earned run average in the minor leagues. And in 2018, he was pitching very well as a starter in AAA. But unfortunately, he did have to have Tommy John surgery, which ended his 2018 season. And when we saw him come back in 2019, he pretty much hasn't been able to get back to form prior to Tommy John. So he came back in 2019 and made 13 appearances in the minor leagues. He had a 5.94 ERA and uh, pretty much did have a lot of problems with walks and was giving up a lot of home runs. And then this year in 2020 in four appearances had given up eight earned runs in seven innings. So the 27 year old Banda has a lot of upside so potential. Could just still be recovering from Tommy John surgery. So I love this pickup. You didn't have to give up anything at all to acquire him just cash considerations so we'll see what he can do out there and i'm looking forward to it and so guys to the most important question of the day that you're probably wondering which is why did the san francisco giants stay so quiet at the trade deadline this year and ultimately what it comes down to is farhan zaidi gm scott harris and this front office have complete confidence and faith in this year's ball club to make a deep Deep run into Orange October and I absolutely love it you guys I mean this team has been playing so well and so competitive all year they have great chemistry and yeah they have exceeded expectations of a lot of people and I mean for us to be just a half game back of the final eighth seed playoff spot right now that is amazing and also you know when you're looking at the market the Giants of course did have a lot of starting pitchers whether it was Johnny Cueto or or Kevin Gosman that potentially could have been dealt, but the starting pitching market was very light at this deadline, not a whole lot of big time buyers. And so really there weren't any deals that made ultimate sense to the Giants to deal away some of their play now, players. Now, that's not to say that the Giants didn't have conversations with teams. The Giants were in the market looking for some right-handed relief help and also potentially a left-handed bat in the outfield, but conversations with teams never got super serious to the point where a deal was going to get done. And again, nothing made ultimate sense to Farhan Zaidi, GM Scott Harris, and this front office. So I absolutely love the decisions they made. If there were no deals that made sense then don't make a deal just to say that we made a deal you know that's what it came comes down to and this little deal right here you know it could be uh, this trade could work out very well for us and I'm very excited to see what this team is going to do I have complete confidence and faith we can make it to the playoffs and once we get there anything can happen with this team we're playing our best baseball at the best time of the year our starting pitching has come on strong the offense has been amazing all year and you've been seeing this bullpen they've been the second best bullpen in the majors since august 17th we've been absolutely dominant so i can't wait to see what this team is going to do the rest of this year and again this situation this year reminds you a lot of the trade deadline a year ago of course at that time the Giants went on another amazing hot run in July and at the trade deadline you saw them not make a whole lot of deals people thought we were going to trade Bumgarner last year they thought we we're going to trade Will Smith none of those deals went down the Giants tried to win with the team that they had last year and Unfortunately, you know, we weren't able to make the postseason. We hung around all the way till about August 25th last year. We were still within six and a half games of the wild card at that time. So, yeah, I, you know, I'm, you know, I agree with the decision that Zaidi and the 
front office made last year and again this year i'm happy with these uh, decisions i know some people did want to see the giants uh, unload and basically try to acquire a ton of top high level prospects uh, but yeah you know when you're looking at the team and how they played this year i think uh, the giants front office made the right decision to hang on to all these veteran pieces to hang on to cueto hang on to gosman hang on to wilmer flores hang on to donovan solano donnie barrels so i love it you guys i can't wait to see what's going to happen here let's make a run to to orange october so thank you guys again thank you so much for checking out today's video and if you made it all the way through to the end of this video be sure to smash up that thumbs up button i really appreciate the support a lot you guys it really helps out my channel a lot helps my videos get attraction and be pushed out there into the youtube algorithm so thank you guys so much and be sure to smash that subscriber button and smash the bell button if you would like like to be notified when brand new San Francisco Giants breaking news will be right here at SF Bay Area Sports Talk and let me know San Francisco Giants fans what are your thoughts after the trade deadline has passed were you disappointed we didn't make any deals today or are you happy like me and that you believe in this team to contend this year and you're glad that we held on to all of our key pieces so that we can see ultimately what this team is going to accomplish this season so i'd love to get your guys thoughts and perspectives of course i'm just sharing my thoughts and opinions i love it when i hear from you guys i love talking giants baseball with all of you so again thank you everyone appreciate it and and as always, until next time, I'll see you guys again. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.